Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone watching from across the world. Welcome to Blue Corner with Taurar. The reason as to why I really can't stop smiling, guys, is because of the support that you've given me since I posted my first video. Hey, you guys, you are the bomb, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. And for those people who have not yet subscribed to the channel, dear, I don't know what you're waiting for, by the way. Please click that subscribe button and click the bell. Click click the bell so that anytime i post a video you can be able to see it today as i promised i told you guys i'll be doing a video when you get to know you know where you get to know a little bit more about who i am who is this person because some of you don't even know i exist so i asked you guys on my social media pages um if there's any question that you want you would want me to answer or anything that you want to know about me and i have a number of questions here that's why you're seeing me looking at my phone so don't mind i've categorized the questions i have i had around 20 questions so I, i've just combined the question those that seems like they are the same you know i will try to answer as many as i can so let's get into it yeah to the simple ones to the hardest one but i didn't really see any hard questions here so let's get into it yeah there's one person i won't say the names of the people who asked me so i'll just say the question okay the first question was who is Tawarar? you know that question when you're asked during the interview you're like hmm you know i will start lying and saying how i have achieved i don't know what 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 but today is simple i'll just tell you Tawarar is a sister i am a mother i am a wife <laughs> and i'm so excited you know like the fact that I am already now a wife, it's really fun. But yeah, that is basically me. I'm a very social person. I like making friends and I'm a sanguine as well, if you want to know about that. Yeah, I talk a lot, so sometimes I might take 10 minutes to answer one question. But yeah, second question, where do you come from? So I don't know when you're asking this question, if you wanted to know where I live right now or where I come from, because where I was born or things like that. So one thing I really like about uh, me is people don't always know where I come from. Some some people think, some say I come from Western, some say I'm not Kenyan. By the way, do I look like I'm not Kenyan? I think I'm a typical Kenyan. My name sometimes, <laughs> people think that my name um, is not Kenyan because uh, Tawarar, I don't know if you've ever heard of the word, the name Tawarar. But yeah, I am Kenyan. I come from Mount Elgon. I don't know if you guys have uh, heard of Mount, Mount any people who come from Mount Elgon. They are Sabaoth. So I'm a Sabaoth. Those who wanted to know about that. And I come from Transoia County. But now I live in Nairobi County. So I hope that answers your question. The next one is what do you like the most? So I don't know if this one was about the food I like, what I like doing. But I think what I like the most for me is watching series. As in, most of the time, I spend almost three quarter of my time watching Imagine Guys, like I'm that weird. <laughs> but you know what, um, that's what I like doing the most. But cooking has also become one of my things, not very much, but I like trying new things, yeah? Just trying new recipes from you know uh youtube and things like that so that's what i like doing um when it comes to reading hey novels i've tried ha huh? um, i think that novel need to be translated to a movie and then i will watch that's how serious it is but that's what i like doing and then question number yeah, question number four yeah what is your favorite food my favorite food until recent, it was ugali, nyama, and sukuma. But recently I've changed. I think it's, I love chapati, man. I think because I just learned how to cook nice chapos. So I find myself cooking chapos at my place like three times a week. Yeah. And I try to lose weight and I'm cooking chapo three times a week. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get there, but yeah, 
I think Chapo is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what are you? Okay, what are your interests? Uh, for me, uh, what I, how can I answer that question? My interest. Mm, when it comes to job wise or something that passionate like something that I'm passionate about or my interest in doing when it comes to job wise is I'm a communication person, yeah. I did communication in school, very passionate about that. And of course, um you see what I'm doing right now, like what I'm doing here. <laughs> I like empowering people as much as I can with the little story that I have of my life. I always like empowering people, yeah. So that is what I'm interested in. I believe that there are so many things I can bring in the society. There are so many things, roles I can play in the society, and that's one of it. Like trying to just empower someone if I'm able to, trying to give someone hope, and that is even the reason as to why I started Blue Corner with Tarar, so that we just have that space where I can be able to bring hope or a smile to your sitting room, to your living room, or, or wherever you'll be watching my videos from. So that is basically what I'm interested in. Um, hmm. And I'm also, by the, if, if that also answers, I can say I'm also interested in things to do with the environment. I'm an environmentalist, and people who know me, like, you know, <laughs> there's so many things I've engaged in when it comes to environment. So. I also think, um, not really think, but I know that I'm really passionate about that, but I focus more on uh, amplifying the youth voices. So I work mostly with the youth in the field of environment. So that's also one thing that I have hold very, I've held, is it hold or held? I've held very dear in my heart and I really like doing it. So yeah, if that will pass, I think. There's this question that <laughs> I think, do you drink? Yes, I do. Juice. <laughs> I drink, man. I drink water, I drink juice, I drink porridge. I don't know what you meant by drinking, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, if, if you, I'm sure when you're asking these questions, you question, you're talking about alcohol. So if it's as alcohol, I do not drink. Unless it's wine that, uh, you know, when you're going, and then you're given wine. That one I drink. But uh, yeah, I can't say that I stopped drinking at tea. I, I never, I've never drank alcohol before. I have, and I think that's a story for another day. I think I'll just do a, an episode of when I used to drink and then I stopped, you know? <laughs> that's an episode on its own, but right now I am clean, very clean, yeah? There's this question, have you ever engaged in a street fight? Me, street fight. <laughs> ah, no, I've never. Reason being, I hate losing, by the way. What if I fight and then unishinde? No, I can't. I love how everyone is watching me there and then laughing that I was defeated, probably by someone who is smaller than me. Ah, huh? no. Another reason is me will go and is a big I'm totally a of person, so that's why I don't fight. And yeah, so I've never, and I don't think I will ever do that. I also, I'm, a, I'm also a person who really loves peace. I don't like conflicts, like. It makes me use so much energy, you know, so I really don't like, so I can't, I don't think I can find myself fighting in the street, live alone in the house. I can't even fight in the house, by the way, no. Who is your role model? Uh, when it comes to celebrity-wise, by the way, these days I don't think I really have a role model that, uh, a well-known person who is my role model. Not because I don't appreciate what people do, but because I've just learned that Sometimes there are so many people who surround you that can really motivate you to motivate you to do something and we forget we really don't focus on them. We want to be I can say I want to be I don't know uh, Oprah Winfrey or I don't know who but there's so many people who surround me who are doing the same things and I'm like okay I think I can be like that person. So for me I really appreciate those people doing amazing things out there but my role model is my family. I think those people are, I look up to them in everything I do, man. Like, those people have inspired me. I know they have 
wamenitoa place yenye i look back and say eh hey, if it's not this family i would not be where i am today so i would i would say my family is my role model uh, i always every day i work towards being like them or even better than them but yeah i consider them my role models and being in the field of environment again i think the person i can really consider my role model is um wangari mathai the late wangari mathai as in the reason as to why i like that woman is because you know like she was able to fight for something that she believes in every time like us it's very hard for us to fight for something una fight unafika pale mbele you are like Hey, I can't I can't do this. So she never feared she never feared to do anything no matter how complicated how hard the thing is. She she did it. So every time I look up to her and I want to be like her to be able to fight for what I believe in no matter what people say, no matter what the society say, no matter what the government say, I will still fight for it. So when I grow up, eh, I want to be like her. Yeah. So let's go to the next question. I don't even know which number we are at, but let's just go. Mhm. Mm the next question is how many degrees do you have? How many degrees do I have? Um, let me count. Ah. Okay. I have one. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't know if diploma is considered as a, but I think yeah, it is considered yeah. So I did diploma after I completed completed high school diploma in radio production, and then I did a uh, bachelor's degree in public relations. So I think I have two yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I have two. Don't get it twisted. I only have two yeah, and of course my temperature degree. I think it's now thirty or something so what is your nickname do i have a nickname no i don't think i do no everyone like but but one thing i always know is i will know where you come from depending on how you call me people from transoia county they call me livia yeah so when you call me livia i know you come from kitale one way or the other even if you lie i know you come from kitale people who call me Olivia, I know they are those official people, the, my workmates or people I've associated with, uh, interacted with officially. And then there are those who call me Tawarar. Yeah? Tawarar. <laughs> when you call me Tawarar, I know you come from Nairobi or we've schooled together um, at Daystar probably because that's where everyone calls me Tawarar. But you know what, guys? If you could ask me which name would I be, would I prefer to be called? I think Tawarar works for me. I love that name. Isn't it good? Tawarar. <laughs> you know, I always force people to pronounce my name well. I don't know if you're that kind of a person. Ulewa, my name is Anita with an H. <laughs> so for me, I am Tawarar. And how you say my name is Tawarar. Akuna are nyiko silent. Yeah. Uh, there's this question. Do you know how to swim? No. <laughs> Me swimming. But I don't know. Like you know, in in the village we used to swim. I don't know if you guys know. As in there's that thing from I don't know how you call it. Since we call Kitale, we call it uh Jerikan. Mtungia Maji. Kale ka five liter, eh? So it was when you were sent to the to the village or to the river to okay, it was never it never used to be the river, but I took out nenda kwa river. Let me not force it, but <laughs> we used to go have fun with my friends out there, and then the only thing you can swim with is the jerry can because if you don't use the jerry can, you will you will sink, sink or float. Kuka kwa juu amani ni kusink amani ku float. Ku sink, eh, yeah, sink. So, <laughs> if it's that one, yes, I know how to swim. If it's about the ocean and all those things, eh, man, hey, I, if you know how to swim, by the way, comment down below. You will teach me how to swim. I'll go buy a swimming costume. But I do not know how to swim. I also went to school, as in, they did not consider swimming as co curricular activities. So how, how was I supposed to learn? If I didn't learn when I was under 15 years, seriously, how can I learn now? when I'm this old. But anyway, if you want to teach me how to swim, I will buy a swimming costume and 
I will be so glad if you offer. Yeah. The next questions, yeah. How many friends do you have? Aki the person who asked that question, seriously. Can you tell me how many friends you have? Ah, you know me, I'm a people's person anyway, so I can't say like I have a hundred friends. It's that it's it's never that you know, like no, it can't it can't be that, you know. But uh for me sometimes uh I consider everyone my friend, but it doesn't mean that I'm loved by everyone. There are so many people who don't like me, you know. There's a friend of mine, by the way, who told me <laughs> that the first time she met me, imagine she never liked me. She was like, mm, this woman, she talks a lot, seriously. And then when she got to know me, oh my God, she fell in love with me. In fact, she's always with me. <laughs> so at first, I don't know if I can, I can consider that my friend or rod but yeah there are so many people who really really don't like me because for me when i meet you for the first time i will still be me i will still speak up and i might speak up things that you don't like and then you're like eh this woman alikuja sana so <laughs> and some might really not go past that stage of alikuja sana they are like ah no me i don't want to associate with that woman but those people who get to to know me they understand like i'm a very fun person by the way very fun very fun <laughs> but anyway uh about the number of friends i have i cannot really say but if we talk about the inner circle friends you know that those friends i always run to when i have a problem when i want to do something i always check with them what do you think as in friends who can catch a grenade for me can you <laughs> i don't know if you can catch a grenade for me if you can then let me know i will consider you you are in my inner circle but for now i think you are just my friend yeah but if the inner circle friends i only have around maybe five or four maximum i think so so yeah um let me conclude uh what is your favorite series i'm sure the person who asked me this knew that i really love watching series yes i do my favorite series uh, of all time i think recently it was it was last ship but i just watched prison break i completed it the other day and i'm like oh my god i love prison break i can watch it again and again and again the storyline was amazing so that is my favorite series you can watch it by the way it's really nice yeah and then this last question, let me just take this as my last question because I don't think I will answer everything. I also don't want this video to be very long as it is right now. So, have you ever been hospital, hospitalized for long period? Imagine, no. As in one thing that I'm always... But this is one thing I forgot to tell you. I'm a, I'm a born-again Christian. And I'm not ashamed of saying that, by the way. I will say it, shout it from, you know, the top of mount kenya <laughs> but yeah so one thing i'm always appreciative and i thank god for was is the fact that i've never i've never been that person who goes to the hospital i only go to the hospital when probably a checkup you know as mothers or as women we go for checkups every now and then and of course when i was giving birth the last time i was in the hospital is when i was giving birth and you cannot say that giving birth is sickness so i just went to give birth so yeah i i really i've never been hospitalized and the longest i have was three days when i was giving birth so i've never been hospitalized before uh for long so yeah i think that's it. Uh, if there's any other question that you'd want to know about me that I've not tackled, by the way, feel free to answer that, uh, to ask, sorry, to ask that question. I will still answer it on the comment section or everywhere. And if there's anything you want to learn about me or there's any topic you want us to discuss uh, here, you can just also put it down there and trust me, I will do what you want but for now guys i think i will end this video here thank you so much for watching to the end and stay stay safe and be good